buttons. Buttons are hit. All right, guys. Welcome back. Also, happy Star Wars month. This is the May. And may the fourth be with you. And then tomorrow, I hope you enjoy Revenge of the Sith. Or Revenge of the Fifth. Excuse me. Revenge of the Fifth. And then, what else we got? We got George Lucas's birthday. We have um, the Kenobi show. And we have a couple other things, don't we? Hold on. I just, like, I posted a list for another time. That's, that's, a, that's another time. Anyway. Anyway. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, announcements. Tomorrow I will be visiting Amberly. So, next session will take place at Amberly's. Yep, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> we'll unicorns. Yes. Um, but to, I guess to kind of recap last episode, um, you guys were woken up in a web of a spider den, and you guys have been poisoned and carted off, all except for the elementals, who couldn't be poisoned, and, uh, you guys managed to break free and reach the, re what you found was the refugee camp in the Aventide Forest between the... General going on a rampage on the other side of the forest and the sickness that is plaguing the lands that you guys are currently investigating. Uh, this refugee camp seems to be full to the brim. And so you guys are currently being uh, escorted by Z uh, by Leaf Deera and her little goat guardian companion. Um, you guys had just reached the refugee camp, seemingly in one of the epicenters of the forest, with ginormous trees and, uh, you know, with houses and lofts all strewn about them. You guys are entering a forest of tents from all the refugees, and you're also seeing trees that have tiny abodes in them as well for smaller creatures and beings. But, um, yeah, you guys are currently walking into the refugee camp. What do you want to do first? I vote check on John D. Look for John D. <laughs> <laughs> I have priorities here. <laughs> Gotta split off and look for my wife and kids. You're going to split off? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will see you in a little bit. I'll, I'm going to go with him. You're going to go with, with Junori? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we will be with you two in a minute. Um, Ivania, roll perception. Perception. Let's see here. And how would you like to first look for John B? Uh, Perception is a 12. All right. Um, per well, we try to find delicious smells. <laughs> <laughs> Let my nose guide me to victory. Um, your nose definitely picks up on strong food smells um but they seem to be mixed in together and you know given your recent bout your senses are a little bit jarred right now but uh the, all the the smells do seem to be coming from the general vicinity of away from you <laughs> okay hey uh, what are you what are you doing I'm looking for a library. Refugee camp? Um, it's a refugee camp run by the ladies of the forest and Leaf Dira. You're trying to tell me there isn't books? Because I think you're wrong. Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and roll investigation. Eighteen. All right, in your immediate vicinity, while you do see various shops and tents and um, goods out for sale, you don't see anything 
uh, in the media area that hints to a library. Oh, fuck. Why are we looking for a library in a refugee camp? Listen, <laughs> run. I literally just explained this. It's run by Leaf Dira and the ladies of the forest, and you're trying to tell me they don't have knowledge for me to get somewhere? Because I think you're wrong. Specifically a library? No. And I go for it, Mavi. <laughs> I just wanted to poke fun real quick. <laughs> what do you, you want to do? Sorn see, the Sorn see, uh, that uh, depends. Looking around. When the party split, which party did you go with? Did you follow Zunori or did you follow Ivanya? Oh, I I just I stayed with Ivanya. I thought it was just uh, Zunori and um, Moshi that split. Yeah, no, yeah, no, the choice was yours. All right. Well, what is there anything that you want to look for immediately, Zunori? I'm or just going to follow uh, Leaf Dira. We're we're following Leaf Dira, right? I thought I thought no. they would shoot. No, she split off from us. Mm -hmm. I thought okay. Yep, she brought, she you just guys kind of brought us in and then left. <laughs> Yep. Evanyo is looking for John D. I'm looking for knowledge, but I forgot there was also merchants here, so I'll go shopping at some point. Zenori and Moshi went off to find Zenori's family. Uh oh. You know, can I um if I remember how uh Zenori's wife's um like Aether signature looked can i like try to look for that again you may roll arcana and history all right let me do these real quick arcana uh if it will load my pdf arcana is a 15 history is a 17 all right, so you do recall his wife's Aether. Mm -hmm. um, you don't see it in your immediate vicinity at this time, but you do have the ability to pick up on it um, if you were to see it again. Okay, I'll, I'm going to keep an eye out for that while I just follow behind Ivanya and uh, Aya. All right, what do you two want to do next? While well, you keep an eye out for John D and the library. Merchant uh, time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and maybe a cleric. Oh, yeah. Some... Yeah. If we happen to see one. A cleric? Someone who has... Um, who can bind either, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Who can buy what? Aether. Bind either, <laughs> yes. Because that's something that we've been trying to do for, I don't know, like three or four weeks now. <laughs> Timing was never right. <laughs> right? No, we're looking for a missed family. All right. So you guys are walking through the refugee camp through the tents. And while a lot of people you are seeing are of um, Aetherian descent, uh, you're starting to notice and recognize just how many creatures you are surrounded with. Um, you see you know, a select few centaurs roaming through the crowds. You see satyrs. You see fairies that resemble Aya very much. You see little puffballs flying around. You see full animal creatures um, you see lintets, you see some vergus, you see several different kinds of creatures and beings in the marketplace. Um, you guys are, as you, you know, you guys figure that, you know, the bigger the crowd, the closer you guys might get to, you know, some of the shops and things that you are looking for. Um, Joseph, you are noticing you are getting closer to a food court of sorts, um, but you guys enter almost like a, you know, what seems like a, a, a center in the market um, where it's just a huge opening and that is filled with people. Uh, along the edges, you immediately see what does appear to be an alchemical or herb 
uh, shop stand of some sort. And you're also noticing quite a bit of clothing and jewelry, stalls. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys are closer in the marketplace. Okay. Cool. How are we splitting who's getting what kits? Well, um, I'm going to get the herbalism kit. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to definitely get the herbalism kit and probably the alchemist kit as well. So you can get the other two that you're looking for. Well, I mean, that was two of the three that I was looking for, but that means I'm looking for the poisoner's kit. Um, oh, and we wanted the jeweler's kit, right? I guess that's the other one. Yeah. That's the two you were looking for. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking for the poisoner's kit and the, the jeweler's kit. Okay, so which one are you guys going to first? I'm assuming the alchemy stand. We could yeah. three get three of the different kits there. Okay. Um, upon approaching the alchemy stand, um, there is a fawn of, you know, light, light pink and tan fur. And she's got horns that are delicately decorated with flowers. She's rummaging mm -hmm. around about behind her table. Um, on the table itself, you guys see various ingredients and, and um, what seem to be like handmade bottles and tinctures and assortments of things. Can't we just Do we ask? see? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna like oh, how do I even communicate it's just uh, it would be rude to just like touch them <laughs> it's like tap can I can I tap them or like say excuse me <laughs> all right uh, so so you uh you know kind of clear your throat and excuse me and you're trying to get her attention and uh, with a start, she she jumps out of her, you know, essentially jumps out of her box. And you, you almost hear like a little goat bleat as uh, she looks at you guys. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. She's like, I, I could swear I put more bottles in that box. And the box is way too big. And I'm, I'm sorry, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, well, I'm looking for a herbalism kit or a alchemist kit. To you and my friend here is looking for a poisoner's oh. kit and a jewelry kit. Do you happen to have those? She's gonna, she's gonna kind of squint at both of you. She's gonna be like, "You guys have a lot of crafting on your mind, don't you?" Yes. <laughs> how big is her box? That sounds weird, but can I ask her how big her box is? You, <laughs> you know what? Roll persuasion. I don't understand why I need to persuade somebody over this, but okay. Eighteen. All right. Well, uh, yeah. So you ask her how big her box is, and she's like, "Oh my god, this one!" And she puts it up, and it is about, yeah, you know, like one foot by two foot. It's like two cubic feet box and you oh, see... I thought she said it was a big box she couldn't find what she was looking for and she's continue. she continues to kind of like rummage around trying to hope and find them um, you see you know various uh, plants and like I said and, and other herbs in, in that box and she's just like trying to rummage underneath all of them <laughs> can I I, like try and help like well yeah what are that's you looking my for? idea <laughs> like i'm tiny i could probably go into the box and find it like a bull pit of herbalism for all investigation wouldn't she, Does she get advantage? what she's looking for also true yes <laughs> say what uh 23 
All right, so... <laughs> Uh, you jump into the box and, uh, you know, you're talking to her, you know, and asking her, you know, what are you looking for? And she says, oh, there are a couple little tiny files. And uh, you're swimming in plants and herbs and you get whiffs of, you know, familiar herbs. And it's just kind of, you know, this is, stuff like this is your happy place. All it's missing is a good book. Um, after a few Wait. minutes, you come across something that is not the exterior of the box, and it is not any plant matter, and you come across two small vials that are about half your size. That's a very okay. small bottle. <laughs> I mean, she said they were vials. Um, yeah. Can I, like... I'm assuming I'm buried underneath plants at this point. Can I just like call and be like, found them and attempt to like power walk my way out <laughs> with like the two vials? You know, like um, when you see the old ladies around the mall with the water bottles in their hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting image to, to have in my mind right now. <laughs> I mean, they're like half my size. I doubt I can fake swim through plants with them, so I'll have to power you, walk. How are you going to power walk out of a pile of, like, thing of I'm going to have to step on plants, I'm assuming. <laughs> so, when you call that you found them, she digs her hands underneath both sides of you, and you know, sees you moving and trying to grab the bottles, and picks you up through the plants. That's much easier. And she's like, you just saved me, like, half of my day. I was really looking for those. And she sets you guys, you off to the side. And they're, they're like, partially full of uh, clear fluid. Just, um, you gather, you know, with your knowledge that it is just a base alchemical, you know, unmixed potions, essentially. Um, and you know, so she's uh, set you off to the side. And she puts the box back down. She's like, thank you so much for that. And she's like, okay, now your herbalist kit. And, um, you know, she's like, give me a couple minutes. Let me see what all I can put together for you. And she takes off into the back of her tent um, behind the table. So supposedly looking for to see what kind of kit she can put together. Uh, can Yvonne, like, take a look meanwhile on what is on display? See if there's anything interesting that might catch her eye. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll investigation. Oh, I sent you a whisper to Jerusha. What? What did this whisper? That's a thirty twenty. I'm also whispering you. <laughs> oh, fabulous! <laughs> Whisper to me like I'm one of your French girls. Oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hold on. Sorry. I'm trying to find my, I thought I had, I swear, I just fucking had it. Apologies. I think I put it away. Okay, you are noticing quite a bit of um, what you are seeing is nutritional and medicinal and various things that help promote health. You're not really seeing anything that would damage health or any, any poisoning. And you're not seeing, um, you know, you are seeing one that tends to be a very, it's almost like a little tiny white flower uh, little bush with a almost like moss like leaves and with that one you recognize you both recognize that one as um, typically having antitoxin qualities to it
Do I also see any empty glass bottles? Just you do. empty ones. Nice. You see, okay. um, you see a couple of um, empty glass bottles. You also see a handful of bottles that seem to be made either of wood or other natural matter, and oh. um, some clay ones. Clay bottles too. Okay, those could be useful. So I might, uh, I might buy a couple of those if they're within my budget. <laughs> I have no idea how much this is gonna cost me. <laughs> So, all right, um, after a, what seems to be a little bit, the, um, the lady, the fawn comes back out and she kind of has two rucksacks with her and she says okay i was able to get together the alchemist kit and the herbalism kit she's like i don't really have anything that handles toxins uh, and she kind of throws those in front of you guys um and then uh and then she's like and for the jewelry kit that one you might you might just need to ask the smith for that figure as much for the jewelry kit Mm, so I said I'll, I'll get those uh how and I point to the uh the bo bottles mostly the glass ones and perhaps one of the wooden and one of the uh, clay ones and how much are those if I were to get all of them together and she's like well the handmade ones and she points to the wood the clay and the plant matter and she's like, you know, they they may appear to not work as well as glass, but I assure you they work just as well and biodegradable. And she's like, For those are one silver a piece, a glass bottle uh, will be uh, one gold piece. And okay. She, and she's like, if you want uh, glass bottles with a uh, potion base in them, and the two vials that that you guys got, she's like, I'll give these to you for five gold piece a piece, you know, at a discount. Did you guys help me find it? <laughs> Only because uh, Ao was there to help me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I claim credit. Take um, advantage of it, man. I will. <laughs> I absolutely will. Um, so, how much would that run me all together if I got all of them? All of the all of the above. Uh, so she has four clay bottles, two wood bottles, and five plant matter bottles, and then the two glass bottles with base in them. And another three glass bottles with nothing in them. Oh, I need to type these out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a lot. So, 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 uh, that's a... Two of the clay ones, right? Yep. Uh, two plant matter. Two vials with um, with potion base. Two, two. It's basically two of everything, right? And it's, there, I know no, there's a uh, three four, of something. Yeah, four clay bottles, two wood bottles, five plant matter bottles, two glass with base, and three glass empty. And you said two wooden one, right? Two wooden Correct. bottles. Okay. And the two kits as well. So um, the kit. the um, herbalist kit will run you ten gold gold 
and the alchemist supplies will run you 75. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so 10 plus 75 it's plus... 85. And then there is... The, the vials are two, uh, are five each, so that's... 95. 95. And then three more glass vials would put you at 98. 98 gold. And then silver. 98 gold. So... For the, the non-glass bottles. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. There, How many silver? Is that like five silver per other bottle one non per yeah. once over per. so that is 11 yeah 11 for all the non glass bottles 11 silver so 98 gold and 11 silver mm -hmm. all right i will i will spend that money <laughs> 30 that gives me 40 and you can, three you can also do 99 gold and one silver if you wish I, I'll, I'll just give the exact one. There. Okay. That's 98, 98. That goes for... So I have 77 gold left. <laughs> All right. Um, as you guys are wrapping up that transaction, a familiar scent wafts through the air <gasps> of sweet buns. And with that, we're going to go see what's up with Moshi and Zudori. <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right, Chris, lead the way. What are you doing? Um, just basically, I guess, a, kind of a tizzy. <laughs> tizzy <Kind> kitty! <laughs> Um, look for the wife and kids, yeah. Alright, how and where do you want to start? Um, what am I kind of looking at? You guys are the entrance of the, um, refugee camp. And, you know, over the tents you see massive, massive trees with winding stairs and houses and all sorts of life, all sorts of creatures, all sorts of hustle and bustle between forest and between refugee activity. Mm. You're also seeing a variety of creatures that you have never laid eyes on before, such as centaurs satyrs and <sighs> among yeah, other things cool. um i'll i'll try and um look through all the refugee tents first you're gonna look through each and every one there's kind of a lot yeah there's kind I'll of just, a so it's couple the hundred area, then oh okay uh <laughs> So it's the general area. I'm gonna jump on Zunori's shoulders and shout for. <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Can 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 you do that? <laughs> That's not my call. That's Zunori's call. Unless. Like... It's up to you. Yeah, do you go for it? Okay. So <laughs> like Moshi jumps on Zunori's shoulders and like puts his paws up and goes. Mrs. Zunori! <laughs> and her children! Her name's Iswen. Or Iswen, she prefers. What's her name? Iswen. Iswen! <laughs> Probably should have closed my door before I did that. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, all right, do uh, go ahead and roll perception. Okay. I didn't even have to roll performance, because I was that good. Perception. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't it be with advantage, because I'm helping him look? 
<laughs> it would be <laughs> it would be but he's got a cat got head buddy game so yeah, yeah. <laughs> 17 come on boy. <laughs> all right moshi's shenanigans kind of, kind of allows you to take a different look of the crowd um where everyone is going about their business um moshi mm. disturbing the peace um, you see a lot of people that are just kind of like, what the hell is their deal? And then you also see a lot of very compassionate looks as this is, you know, a currently active refugee camp. And whether it's from the land dying or their village being burned to the ground, you mm. know, a lot of people are coming to this camp and searching for their loved ones. And so you see quite a few compassionate glances. Um, you also... Roll history for me. Hold on. I don't... I don't know. Can I roll my dice now? <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> history. He was like literally rolling my dice earlier. Oh my god, do you want to roll my dice for me? You probably get better numbers. <laughs> Hopefully it would be better for animal handling, right? Yeah, well, hey. Twelve. Um You don't remember where um Hold on. Um, okay. Um, sorry. I got messages. Uh, you don't recall from where you recall them, um, uh, mm. but you kind of see in the distance a very large Nefarian centaur accompanied by a little puffball, Antiri. And they're in the distance, mm. and they kind of look over at you. He's got more of the look of a security guard mm -hmm. and you know he's probably about three four hundred feet he's definitely across the crowd and he's looking over at you guys as moshi shenanigans <laughs> i'll walk in that general direction trying to like figure out who i'm looking at maybe it's just my eyeballs not working properly <laughs> that guy's staring at us <laughs> But you're definitely getting security guard bouncer vibes from him, but uh, he sees you walking towards, and his body language suggests he's happy to talk to you guys. Okay, so he's walking up to us? Uh, well. he, he kind of, he, he's waiting for you guys to approach, and as you guys okay. approach, you know, clearly, uh, or at least in, in his eyes, um, you know, he kind of already knows what's coming. And he's hmm. like, what can I do you guys for? Um, I'm looking for my wife and children. And he's like, I <laughs> aren't they all? Hmm. And he's like, tell me about her. Uh, you might even know her by her name. Uh, her name is Iswen Urgzar. Er He's gonna. He's... <laughs> Little kids too, you know. Three. He's gonna rack his brain, and the little anteri next to him starts almost chirping like a bird, um, mm. but he understands it, and he's like, "Oh, I guess that name does ring a bell." Huh? See what I did there? No, <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, he's like, "Oh, I guess that name does ring a bell." Um, <laughs> she was brought in. And taken to the Sears. Sweet. Where's that? And he's like, oh, that will be in the Force Center. Okay. It, can you point the general direction? He's like... You guys are new here, aren't you? 
No shit. Quite. Our last visit to the forest was... Look, there's trees, there's plants and shit. Just point where we're supposed to go. It's a forest. He's like, all right. And he points in the general uh, vicinity across the rest of the... Um, not rebel camp. Oh my god, Star Wars on the on the brain. Uh, the rest of the refugee the rebel camp. base. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, through the tall trees that are essentially housing a great amount of the forest population. And he's like, just go through there. You'll come across the shrines in no time. Sweet. Moshi taps Zunori's head. Let's go. I do like a pivot turn and just like sprint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <It's> sprinting! Um... <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Moshi. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna need to make. Oh wow, I have nothing prepared today. Um, Zunori, I need you to make an athletics check real quick. Oh boy, make the cat roll. <laughs> I've got that huge armor on. <laughs> And a cat on your back <laughs> or shoulders. Yeah, that... yeah, you don't get advantage for Moshi helping you. <laughs> hey! Eight. God damn. I also need you to make a dexterity roll. Oh, Lordy, oh, we're all dead. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a uh, that's dex check. Oh, yeah, it's 18. All right. And then, Moshi, I want you to roll for acrobatics. Oh, shit. Just com commando roll with me. All right, all right, all right. Wait, <laughs> I minimize my sheet. Hold on. <laughs> acrobatics. 21. Um... All right, so you aren't able to move very fast, especially through the thick of the crowd. Um, Moshi, also, I need you to roll a perception check. Okay. Se 17. Okay, I'm gonna whisper. So you're, even though you're not moving as fast as you would like, Zunori, you are able to swiftly uh, um, skip through the crowd. And, you know, whether it's, you know, antlers from a large centaur or um, overhangs from tents and other large structures as you guys are following the direction that you asked to be pointed out. Um, you know, Moshi is ducking for cover and, you know, generally able to <laughs> dodge and weave as you are able to dodge and weave as quickly as you are able. And you guys are working your way through the marketplace and through the rest of the refugee camp. And you're definitely starting to get into more native, um, ter you know, more native residential territory. As Stop! <laughs> Stop, Zunori, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I smell, I, I smell sweet buns. I smell sweet buns. I smell, I smell sweet buns. <laughs> jo Jody's here. Oh, watch out! Sweet buns, sweet buns, sweet buns. From that way, that way, from that way. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. I'll reach up, take Moshi off my shoulder. Oh. Place him down and start spreading in the same direction that I hey! <laughs> Go get your Fine! Fine. <laughs> Fine. I'll, I'll come with. Fine. 
this better be worth it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, so yes, you guys are starting to leave the tent area and get into more native residences. And uh, you can tell they're native residences because they're no longer structures that are built. They are structures that are grown. Whether they are grown on their own or grown into the sides of trees and bushes. Um, and you're seeing also quite a high number of more animal, animal-like animal creatures and less Aetherian descent. Um, but... Uh, You start pa- start to uh, pass the very first large tree, and now I need you, Zunori, to roll a nature check. And a perception. God. I've looked up nature before, have I? Um, do, 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 nature is 15. And perception? Perception. Um, <laughs> 15 also. <laughs> All right. Um, as you guys pass the first tree, you notice a river that kind of runs underneath it, um, and almost in like a very wide arc, and ahead of it, another river with a very wide arc. Um, but, you know, coming into, you know, the the less touristy areas, um, you almost lost your way, um, but you managed to get your bearings and see that the residences start to dwindle, but the forest thickens and Mm. the air starts to feel heavier as you're walking towards a direction. We're walking now? Oh, thank God. Because we were sprinting and I was about ready to be done with that. (laughs) I mean, that could just be the DM's words. I mean, are you still still running? Can we please stop sprinting? <laughs> Please! You're I can't! To be nimble like a cat. I'm nimble, but I'm not fast for a long period <laughs> of time. Can we please stop? Okay, I'll slow down. Oh, thank God! Oh. Yep, and uh, yeah, you guys cross over. Yeah, this beautifully grown bridge over the river, and you look into the water, and you see it is a very deep and very clear river, and you're seeing aquatic residences and creatures and stuff in the river. Um, But as you guys continue on your current path, as seemingly there is a path laid out before you, the um, parts of the river start to come closer and closer together. Um, but before you reach the center, you are greeted with a very, very large bramble of branches and flowers and a couple of flower antiries as the path is seemingly shut. Why? Every time. Moshi. Can't, can't one thing go right. Moshi, for once, I agree with you completely. And I walk up in a half towards these anterior, and I'm like, is, is Izawen Oxal in there? I'm gonna need you to roll personally. Come on. Why do they need to be persuaded? Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Persuasion, yeah. Mm. Uh, 21. Alright. Um, they are going to jingle and jibe for a bit. 
And they're going to be like, well, it depends if your who is in what. But, I mean, where is in there? Oh, I ain't got no time for this shit. <laughs> if you don't answer, I'm going to use my fire magic on this bramble shit. And we're going through. So you better be straight with us right now. He's looking for his wife, who he thinks is dead. And if you keep him waiting... Well, honestly, he might throw some fire magic. So, come on now. Roll intimidation. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So, so 21. Yes. <laughs> so, you, you do see them kind of, like, shiver. And they're like, geez, sorry, we were only playing. And with a couple of waves of their hands, they remove the bramble from the path. Oh. And they're like, but it's not us you need to be worried about. And they kind of giggle and fly off. I'm not worried about you. <laughs> just, just so you know. All right. And All right. Well, that was easy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, the path they opened up, um, you know, continues over these, you know, these winding rivers and into deeper forest. You know, now you guys are no longer looking up at you know, hundreds of stories of trees. You know, now you guys are back into, you know, relatively regular sized dense forest. Um, and you're also seeing that while the forest is full of life, there's no one really on the path with you. Not like there was before. Um, and after a time, it's very, um, actually I need you both to roll individual insight checks. Uh, now that you're reminding me of that. I don't know these things off the top of my head of it. Um, oh, da, 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 da. Wow, I'm rolling. I'm not going to finish that comment because the karma is going to come to get me. Uh, and uh, what was it? Insight? Uh, 22. Alright. Um. The forest you guys are walking in seems to be the a dreamlike serenity to it, where it is extremely peaceful, and as even though it is you know very dense, dense and very lush, um, you guys feel very much at peace and very relaxed where you guys are at. Um, no ominous sense, no uh, feelings that something is wrong, no, you know, possible inklings of illusions. It feels natural. It feels right. And, but you guys also get the small hint of trespassing. You guys feel like you are dirtying the forest as you are walking through it. But you continue on, <laughs> I presume. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very much so. And um, you come into a firefly lit uh, a grove. You know, just this, not necessarily a clean, clearing, but a grove of just flower blossoms as far as the eye can see. You see, you know, some light shading in through the trees and then where there's not light coming in, it is lit up by fireflies and glowing crystals and it's just radiating with magic. And mm. in the middle of a grove is almost a stacked stone altar um, with various carvings on it in the middle. Wow, this is a cool place. Why haven't we found this before? It is quite elaborate. I mean... Feel like we're tainting this place. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've been someone else's bedroom and they've, like, stepped out for a second and I'm just, like, awkwardly waiting for them to come back. So, <laughs> kind of has that vibe. But, Same. this is a 
cool bedroom, man. Look at this stuff. Why weren't we here before? I have no idea. We Seems have to we're leave? taken on a roundabout Cause... way through this place. This is nice. <clears throat> we're alone for once. Oh, God, finally. <laughs> it's got some serenity to it, I will say. What else is in the the field or clearing or the grove thing? Go ahead and a... roll perception. Dingy, dingy. Okay. Can I check out the? the oh, that this? was all right. You what may you also roll um, oh, or Tish roll perception with advantage. Oh, instead of investigation. I thought I was rolling investigation. Oh uh, no, perception. I'm rolling perception. Okay. With advantage. With advantage. Okay. Oh, well, we're going to do my first roll. Ooh. Do I roll anything? No. I'm just going to have her roll perception. for you. Perception. Okay. That's a, it's a 16. <laughs> All right. The, um... So, Moshi, um, you are looking around and... You know, you're seeing, you know, like I said, numbers of glowing crystals, flower blossoms that would make a cry. Um, you're seeing various fireflies and other, you know, other smaller life. Um, but you're also noticing there's only one bird. bird. And other than that one bird, you two seem to be the only people in there. And that one bird is sitting on top of the stone altar that Zunori is currently looking at. What kind of bird? A raven. Ah, oh, shit. And, uh, so Zunori, what would you like to do? Can we just, like, Did not... we catch the glyphs? Oh, um, the... Real history. That's good at all. Um, history, history, history. Let's just say the bird distracted me. <laughs> and I'll look straight at the bird and I'll say, I'm presuming that you're an avatar of this forest or the ladies of the forest. Okay, um, let's see. Go ahead and roll me an insight. Also poopy. Uh, <laughs> nine? <laughs> oh. uh, after a brief pause, and the bird seems to be making motions that it is talking to you, but you can't hear it. After a time, eventually the bird vocalizes and and it's a sets of you know cause and crows he's like you presume correctly cool you know why i'm here we're we're looking for his wife and family we were told to come here anything he's like and you don't think they'd be in the refugee camp? We asked. This guy pointed. We got here. I, I don't know what you want. He said they're with the seers. I don't know what that means. He just pointed and we just... We didn't really ask anything after that because Zunori just took off. So, you know, we didn't really get any information after that. The bird looks at you, Zunori, and goes, You are in quite a rush. Well, it's like his family, so, you know. You see an impatient Moshi look on Zunori's face like... Uh, a rush is an understatement. And what do you expect me to do about it? I, I look down at Moshi like, is this for real right now? <laughs> Just say the word and I'll shoot it. 
<laughs> no, just kidding. I didn't say that. Moshi doesn't say that. But <laughs> what do I have? I think I have stones I could throw or something. No. no I, I'm not going to do that this time. No, I'll, I'll rein myself in. But I'll give Zenori a look like... <laughs> Seriously. And I'll put my hand on what? Moshi's shoulder. You can feel like a firm grip. Not hurting, but you can tell I'm frustrated. I have been through quite literally hell and I've just found out that my wife and children have possibly gone through worse than I have and I'm about ready to turn on a dime into a person I no longer want to be anymore. So if you could please refrain from riddles and silly unnecessary context and please point me in the general direction of my wife and children please you really don't want to make him angry it's like your feelings are fair but you act like you've been approved to see them what excuse me Approval? We need approval. Who? Who is? I want to see who. Who's? Who's making? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I want to see who's calling these shots here. Who is making all these rules? Who do we have to ask for for approval? What is a freaking family? The raven lets out a loud caw, and he's kind of like, "Let me go ask them." You two can wait here for all I get. Ask who? And he flies off. You know what? Yeah, you. <laughs> right, no more cat. My God. Um, <laughs> oh, but your kitty is so welcome. <laughs> it's just like in my space. That's all. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> um, uh, now we gotta wait. Yeah. Stupid ass bird to come back and give us some stupid ass information. Wait, oh, we could just follow him? Yeah, we could follow him. No, he's a bird. He flies fast. Never mind. <laughs> Far out. That's right. Who's that is with? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, we got our own bird. We don't need this shit. Come on. Let's <laughs> get that. Where is he? Wait, where is he? Actually, probably. I presume he stayed Otis. with. Uh, Aya and uh, Oh, for God's sake, he didn't come with us? What is this? <laughs> it's his family, too! He, he needs nah, a the, feeling some betrayal here. Wow, Natters, way to go. <laughs> oh, wait! We, we Natters yeah, we here, did. We by... who, who was Natters sling to? Oh, was that's right, me? Natters was hurt. Yeah, is he with you? Do you have him in wait, the sling? Wait, he is with us. Yeah. I yeah, presume because he's... he's probably had a rough ride all the way. Oh, oh God! Natter's you look like down. On your front you I'm... look down, and there's just like a huffy, like ruffled <laughs> feathered Natter's in this. In this oh, oh, buddy! Oh my goodness! Just poppy mat. <laughs> Actually, Natter's, how, how you doing? How you doing there? He's gonna be very ruffled. And he, then he just looks at you, Zunari, and you just see the the concern. You know, he's more worried about you still. Does Natters a Gwitsi eat? I think I've got food. Can I feed him something? You may. They're omnivorous, aren't they? Are they also omnivorous? N I don't know. I've Natters, got, like, rations and shit, so. Natters is omnivorous. Mm. He's an okay. omnom omnivore. Uh... <laughs> I wasn't gonna laugh at that. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know why that's like really funny to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> rifle through my bag, and I think I've got like some fruit and like some jerky in there still so i can i'm gonna like give it to natters be like how you doing bud here you go here you go man he's he's oh, man. gonna graciously accept it and oh sweet 
Can I can I pat his head like a little bit? Roll animal handling. Oh shit. <laughs> It's a five. <laughs> the That's ironic right. thing is, I am an animal. You weren't supposed to roll animal handling today. <laughs> Chris, Chris, can you post that gif in the live chat in the Discord, please? <laughs> That's exactly what happened. You go to pet him, and you just kind of like accidentally like boop him in the face, and he just kind of jerks back like, "The fuck." <laughs> I don't know how you find those. Oh my god. <laughs> freaking beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's basically it. Just like... <laughs> oh. Also, we did call it. You have not been a a handling animals well today, just in general. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. What? What else have I done? The horses. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, like like in real life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Like, I shouldn't have rolled animal handling today. I didn't get. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but all right. So, you guys are currently waiting. Um, we will go back to the other three. Wait, after. what happened? Oh, with Natters, you just kind of booped him in the face. He was like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm really excited. Sorry. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'll just... I'll just... Right on. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so <laughs> we're going to take a... Uh, wellness break, so, you know, five, ten minute wellness break. We will be back momentarily, and we will resume and see what our rogues are up to all by themselves, unsupervised, evidently. <laughs> uh, there's a rogue here, please. Oh. Yeah, you have two, and they're they're in the opposite parties here. And I, he, leave it to the rogues to come out and be like, Whoa. <laughs> Actually, we're everywhere.
All right, so we are back, and we are actually back with just a uh, and a Vanya. Yes, we will get to Sworn in a minute. He's grounded. <laughs> but it's, uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, what are you two up to? Uh, the Smith, I think, and a cleric, and I'm still looking for books. Yes. And stuff to steal. Oh, and I gotta finish the ukulele. Or right. come too early. Roll, um, what do you want to start with first? Uh, let's go with the smith. Let's okay. see if I can get the jewelry kit. Let's see if I can get the stuff that I'm going to uh, not tactically acquire before I piss some people <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need you to roll investigation. Sixteen. Okay. Um. So, judging by your media area, uh, you definitely don't see a crafter. Um, but you do see a shop that has an assortment of weapons and jewelry, both. Perfect. Let's go there. Okay. Um, the merchant is currently talking with another customer. Um, yeah, it just seems to be a Metherian man. Um, Vanya, what the face? I feel like you're trying to bait us. <laughs> He's not paying attention. Do it now. <laughs> no, I have to make you your outfit. <laughs> that is true, yep. Okay, while we wait, I'm going to make Vanya their outfit. The outfit or the ukulele? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be both? <laughs> you're... You're gonna have to roll for each one. Okay. L let's start with the ukulele. <laughs> Cause I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be super duper pretty. Okay. For the ukulele. I'm gonna need you to roll slide a hand. That would be the word. See how fast you can work them little hands. 30 20. <laughs> so. Out here making my one band man. One man band. There we go. I can do it. One band man. man. <laughs> so, um, while you guys are waiting for the merchant to finish with their other customer, uh, Aya pull, pulls out, you know, her beautiful flower-made ukulele, and with a flurry of, Lord even knows what you just see, a whole bunch of blurs finishes the ukulele. Oh, I'm going to give the ukulele to Vanya. <sighs> Our beautiful ombre flower-made ukulele. Oh, flower. Oh, my God. It's got to be so pretty. Then go ahead and roll another sleight of hand for making the outfit. Fifteen. Okay. Um, you manage to pull together, you know, what appears to be a costume of sorts for Vanya. And after some tweaking and adjustment, you managed to get it to fit on the body. Yes! I'm so excited! <laughs> yes! And while you're in the <laughs> middle of fitting, Ivania, I want you to roll perception. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Fifteen. No, Ivania is uh... rolling perception. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're That's in the middle uh... of fitting. You're busy. I have okay. a net 20 on that. <laughs> yes! 29 actually total. Oh my fucking god, you too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so. Well, 
what do you want to do with your net 20 on the perception? You already notice the merchant has finished with his customer and is kind of looking at you guys like, are you next? But what else do you want to do with your perception? What else are you looking for? I'm going to look for the most a noticeable spot near the uh, near the merchant where I can possibly start attracting a bunch of attention. <laughs> a whole lot of attention. <laughs> All right. Um, in the middle of the uh, uh, market where you guys are currently at, is a number of other stalls. You do see a stack of crates you know, that are carrying goods. And those stack above the average head. So you do see that um, currently from where you are at. That is in the center of the crowd. I can try to climb on that. Perfect. You certainly Ooh. try. Yes, I will do that. I will okay. do that. <laughs> well, well, let me talk to the, the crafter dude first. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a jeweler's kit before we cause too much chaos. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to walk up to the, let's walk up to the guy now that he's done with the cusper and see if he has a jeweler's kit. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, and since you said he has an assortment of weapons too, you said, right? Yes, he does. Can we see if he potentially has any ranged weapons I could use as well? So, roll investigation real quick. All right. Twenty-two. All right. So you see at his shop, he does have ranged weapons, and you could possibly MacGyver a ranged weapon for yourself. But you see out of the corner of your eye, the stall right next to you has more fae-like equipment and has equipment of various sizes for various creatures. Okay, so let's go to the original stall for the jeweler's kit and then the one right next to me for weapons in my size. So the, um, yeah, so the, the merchant... You know, informs you that he doesn't have very many jewelers kits left, and um, that will cost you seventy-five gold. Good, easy enough. Okay. Um, is there anything else you guys wanted from him? Because he is huffy and in a hurry to get to the next customer. Uh, no, I think we're good. Okay. I want to go over the stall with the weapons. Okay, so the next stall. Um, as you guys walk over, you notice is also ran by Okies. <gasps> <gasps> the babies. <laughs> are the same? Are they the same ones, or not the same ones that we have met in the forest? Roll history. <laughs> oh my! Uh, okay, that is not good. <laughs> Eight. Uh, you don't know their kind well enough right now so you're aren't they all wearing sure. different costumes different yeah. costumes different tribes you don't know you don't know the difference right now okay. fair fair um but yeah so they squeak at you and they're like oh oh we, we he's like we, we we got some stuff that'll fit you and they're <gasps> yes. rummaging around um, they pull out a couple of swords, they pull out a couple of different various small bags, which are small for small. They are not yours, which has the bag of holding qualities. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, various little lamps and um, clothes. You get to see a variety of clothes that they're pulling out and they do pull out a small short bow with two toothpick sized arrows. Yeah. Let's get the short bow. Alright. That one 
will be 20 gold. And ammunition, uh, it comes with 10. If you wanted extra, that would be... <laughs> What are the ammunition made of? Are they just like really many sticks? Yeah, yeah. With um, they you do see that they are crafted by small hands for small hands, and that they do have um very a weird puppy logo <laughs> by small hands for small hands. <laughs> Uh, they do have tiny little arrow tips on them and tiny little uh, tufts of feathers. Not a whole feather, just tiny little down tied to the ends. Um, and those will be, so that bow comes with 10 and it'll be two gold for an additional 20. Um, yeah, let's just grab the additional 20. And you said 20 for the bow? Correct. That's 22 gold. Yeah, I just blew through a lot of fucking gold. I know. It's been a hundred. It's been a hundred. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I'm down to 88. I mean, I haven't spent gold on anything the whole time I've been with y'all. So, I mean, it was about time anyways. Uh-huh. Okay. It's time to cause a distraction and tactically acquire. What we're All tactically right. acquiring is up for grabs, but <laughs> possibly, sure. Um, I assume you're giving me the signal at this point. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Vaya's gonna, I'm uh, gonna climb up the stack of crates. I'm gonna need you to gonna... roll acrobatics first. <laughs> Oh no, that's a that's a nine. <laughs> oh, a series of unfortunate events unfolding right here. <laughs> uh, da -da. wait, I thought I did. I want to. No, I did not. All right, so your first attempt to climb up the crates fails, and you slip not realizing that they had almost like a mesh or a netting covering them, and they are not uniformly shaped as they appear to be made out of naturally dropped plant debris and, uh, you know, tree debris. Um, but they are sturdy enough to hold you. You do take three points of bludgeoning damage to your right knee, though. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That alone, you already caught a couple of eyes. What would you like to do next? Can I, can I climb up again without this time without? <laughs> Not struggling as much. You you make it up the second time. <laughs> uh if I like try not to die of embarrassment right now, whips out that you go and starts playing a brand new song <laughs> a very very interesting song that i will not I i'm will not, gonna need uh, you clarify. to roll performance <laughs> let's go with zero. we're not talking zero. about your example but you're gonna roll performance zero and zero boosters let's go it's a seven. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have fun today. <laughs> so this is where we pause with you two. Soar, let us resume with you. All right. Oh, oh you're oh, in the park. <laughs> Method acting, right there. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. All right, so you broke off from the other two. What are you currently doing? I snuck away. I'm just kind of looking around uh, the market for any familiar faces, specifically. Like if I can, if I if I am looking for one person, probably Drizash, but uh, just I anyone need that you I recognize. To roll history and perception. 
History is a 21. Perception is a 17. All right. So, um, when you first broke off, you know, you're starting, you know, kind of following the crowd. Hey, yo, Navanya, you already went and ran off from you. Um, you are seeing a couple of familiar faces from faces that you've seen in Orkney. Um, but no one that you've direct had direct contact with. And as you're intentionally looking for Zigza and Terzash, the you you remember that they really didn't like crowds, and they typically stayed towards the outside of um, just crowds in general. Markets they typically stayed on the edges. They did not, you know, they. They didn't need it. Yes, I'll go and check the outskirts of the the markets okay. then. <laughs> it is definitely a very large area. So you make your way away from the center, but as you do, you hear a commotion of what sounds like a bunch of dying oh. animals. Okay. Which sounds oh, horrible. No. But then a familiar, almost childlike voice trying to sing above it all. You recognize Avanya. And you look over and you see Avanya in the crowd across the way. With a brand new ukulele. What would you like to do? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, nope, not my issue. I'm... I'm... <laughs> I am uh, going away from that. I'm turning in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Not oh. my problem. <laughs> you turn in the opposite hmm. direction, and you get face to face with Jondi, who is looking in awe at Ivania and you. And she's like, you guys are alive. You're alive. <laughs> and I'll, uh... Hmm. Were we close enough? Yeah, I'll, I'll like, attempt a hug. <laughs> she reciprocates your awkward hug. And she's like, what? She's like, what even happened? Okay, and she's like, you know what, honey? You know what? I absolutely want to talk to you guys. My stall's right over there. And you mm -hmm. see her stall full of sweet buns and various baked goods. And she's mm -hmm. like, but I really have to go see Tuavanya. That poor thing is going to embarrass herself if she keeps going. <laughs> And so Chandi leaves you be and starts making her way towards Avanya. Avanya. And Aya. <laughs> Aya, you don't quite see this yet, but Chandi is beelining to you, Avanya. Avanya is very up and everything in this moment where <laughs> this could... In their mind, is there 15 seconds of fame? <laughs> I was completely unaware of how bad this is going to be for everybody. This is priceless. <laughs> Fun. Or, uh, hey, I need you to roll perception. Okay. Oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> Ten. Uh... You are so caught up in Avanya's performance. Um, you don't have a clear distinction if everyone is distracted or not. That bad, damn. You know what? I'm just gonna make this more chaotic and not steal anything for the story. I'm gonna float over to Avanya's head and start to glow. That way, they look like a. They got like a little superstar halo going on. Uh, I'm gonna need you to roll performance. <laughs> and Ivania, you can re-roll performance, being inspired oh, by AS assistance. Nineteen. <laughs> it's a fifteen. That's pretty good. I'll take it. So, Aya, you, 
showing Ivania on her makeshift little stage. And through your glow, you are able to inspire her, and Ivania changes her tune very drastically to something much more melodic. And it is super sweet. And Jondi, who was beelining and shouting over the commotion at you two, is now just enjoying the show. We will get back to you two in a moment. Sorn. Yep. So, what would you like to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting away from this situation. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to pass by... John D's, uh stall and just kind of look and see who all's there and uh, I think I'll decide from there where I'm going to go. Um, oh my goodness, I should have figured out where this Because I forgot names. And I don't have opening system on me. Should I get it? You do see Johnny's daughter right away. Whatever her uh, name is. <laughs> whatever her name is. <laughs> um. What's yeah. My God. I didn't. Nobody else that I recognize. Uh, not in the immediate vicinity, no. I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna <laughs> just keep walking. I'm gonna um, cast D detect magic because I know Drizash had magic items, and I'm pretty sure Zigza did. And I'm on the lookout for those two. <laughs> so, with John D's daughter, who did see you as you walked ah! up to ex. Uh, oh, there it is. Hold on. Low two. Low two. I remember now. Um. So you're just gonna like float away from her without a word. Oh God. We've never. We haven't talked before. <laughs> oh, she I'm heard gonna... you talk. <laughs> oh well, yeah, she did. I, I'm. I'm just gonna wave. <laughs> Keep going. She's gonna, she's gonna be in, like very happy to see you, but then she's just gonna do, you know, mimic your wave as you float off and uh, in search of Dredash. I'm gonna need you to roll perception oh. and investigation. Perception. Whoop. Believe that got an increase just now. Perception. Uh, 21. You said, what was the other one? Investigation. Investigation 23. <clears throat> All right, so, um, you end up spending the rest of the evening going around all the tents. And you do eventually come across a very familiar cart with two familiar figures. And they're just kind of sitting in the back, you know, counseling each other. I'm I'm just going to float up pretty quietly. Uh, I, uh, hmm. No, nah, I'm not confident enough to, hey, how's it going? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to float up to them pretty, pretty quietly. <laughs> Where they can see you, or yeah, online. in front of them. I'm okay. just gonna. <laughs> well, they they see you coming, and so does the the little bone cat that she had. The little bone mechanical oh, cat. Oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> That's gonna do its little little worrying mechanical meow, and it's actually gonna jump down and greet you. And... Is this one of my kinds? <laughs> That one. I'll, I'll, I'll scratch his, uh, his head, his little forehead. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Zeke's is going to be like, of all the faces, I never expected to see it again. 
I had, after I heard what happened, I didn't know if I'd see you again either. It, how, <laughs> what happened in town? So, Zigza is going to take a minute and Jerzash is going to comfort her. And she's going to be like, well, luckily, you know, unfortunately for our, you know, our neighbor village, we were able to get enough notice and start evacuating as many people as we could. But the generals just swept into town. They went up to the... Um, they went up to the mayor's uh, house, and that's where it started. The general just started destroying things and burning, and you know we couldn't get everyone out in time, but we got enough people out, or we got any people out at least. Do do we know why? Why he did this? Drew's Ash is going to be like, I suspect he had an ulterior motive. You know, he was investigating the illness. But I suspect that that wasn't all. We didn't exactly stick around to ask him questions. You don't think he knows about the book that you, the journal you gave me? Right. Just as is like, I can't say, but for him to be ransacking villages, I imagine it's pretty petty compared to whatever he's looking for, actually looking for. I guess we'll find out. The prime minister is going to, uh, I assume, catch up with them shortly. I don't know if it might have already happened. I don't I can't remember how long we've been. Zeke's is traveling. just going to be like, <laughs> "Oh, thank the highest." And she's like, "Wait, how do you know?" She's like, "Hold on. He went missing. How do you know what what he's even doing?" We ran into him on the way to Pegaverold Island. That's what it was called, right? Yeah, and right there, Drew's oh, okay. is just gonna be like world builders, prime ministers. Like you see, you get that look on. You see oh, no. that from. <laughs> uh, obviously, our travels led to a lot more than we were expecting. It's just like <clears throat> that's safe to say. And she's like, "Well, do you guys have any place to stay for the night?" I don't believe we do. We just got here. I split off from everyone if Anya was singing. She's like, oh, bless her heart. You know? She's like, oh, that must be so sweet. Oh. But she says, we have some extra space here. We just haven't set up a tent. You know, we haven't needed to. It's just the two of us. You guys are welcome to stay with us. I'll uh, convene with everyone and see what we're going to do. Um you haven't seen Zenori's wife, have you? She's like... Not since the crafter came to town. We think she's in the forest somewhere, and we were hoping she would be here. Um, the, you think that maybe she was evacuated? I think she might have done it of her own accord i i get the feeling she knew what was coming <clears throat> and like, left while she could may we inquire ah uh, i if i if i bring zanori by i'll let him disclose that to you i don't know if it's my place he's like you know what for only being a few months old you sure are maturing very well <clears throat> I guess adventuring will do that to you. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll like, kind of scratch my back of my rock neck and, like, look down a little bit. <laughs> um, we're... Are you still 
selling things? Did were you able to get out any of your stock? I know there's other uh, merchant shops and everything. So oh, what are you looking for? Um, a few things from you and a few things from Drizash, if you're still selling things. That is. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> things is like, well, I didn't exactly plan to set up shop anytime soon, but we do mm. have some effects. If you have maybe some uh, alchemy things, um, I believe a couple of my companions are looking into uh, working with some of those ingredients. She's like, I have a handful. You guys will probably need to be a little bit more specific because there are okay. some things that I don't want to part with right now. Well, I'll uh, have them ask about the things that they need when I bring them by then. <clears throat> and I'll like nod to them and kind of quickly turn and <laughs> I'm going to go get them I'll like kind of say over my shoulder <laughs> and I'll quickly leave alright so um, you know you under you know you recognize and understand that when you went to the outskirts of the refugee camp you were going along the border of the camp and it was quite a border so for you to reconvene with Aya and Ivania um, was no time at all to find them again in the center. But once again, um, evening has you know pretty much passed as it starts dipping into night. Um, we are going to get back to you guys in a moment. Let's go ahead and revisit Zunori and Moshi. Jinori and Moshi, where did you at? I'm coming. Sorry. <laughs> that you were fighting off a cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So it is early evening. Um, you know, as we're going back to you guys, uh, waiting in this magic clearing. What are you guys doing? Well, awaiting, I guess. Were we led to a new area to wait? No. No? We're just in the same area. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm just going to, like, look around to see what I can see. Oh, actually, can I investigate the, the runes again? Or the writing? You, you can certainly try. Go ahead and roll history. History. Dirty 20. All right, so now that you have a moment to actually sit down and look at them, um, you do recognize them from your time in the library, in the Chenogawa Library, and also in your studies. They are definitely forest folk runes and designs, um, way more religious in nature around the shrine. And they definitely speak of the ladies of the forest being, you know, sentient and godlike. You know, essentially that, you know, they are they are the spirits of the forest and that this is a place of offering and a place of commune. Commune, did you say? Hmm. I'll turn to Moshi and be like, hmm. Seems like this place has a religious connotation to it. Okay, cool. I know, I'm just trying to pass the time. I'm getting fidgety. I'm getting? It's nothing to do here! <laughs> it's just flowers and fireflies. I'll have a look around. Do I see anything in particular or out of the ordinary? Other than everything? Hey. Other than everything? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I'm just having a general look around. Um. Well, me and nature. Nah. 
seven. All right, that would be a no. <laughs> well, can Moshi look around? I mean, like I'm trying to look. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Go ahead and also roll a nature. Nature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hug a tree. Hug a tree. Well. Mm. That's a 13. Alright, so... Yeah, you do kind of stray a little bit away from the shrine to take a look around. Um, but this... Grove definitely feels very closed off. Uh, and very secluded from your observations. How big are these, like, crystal things? Some of them are as big as your hand. Some of them are as big as you. But no bigger? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bigger. Yep. Oh, okay. Can I climb them? <laughs> climb them and do what? Cl- what? What do you want to do when you climb them? I don't know. Sit on there and say I'm king of the world? <laughs> There's nothing to do here! Okay. Yeah, so are these things pretty- valuable? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you can climb on them, yes. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna they're... pick the tallest one. How big is the tallest one? Tallest one is... 17 feet. Do it. <laughs> oh, so, Zunora, you look over and Moshi is all of a sudden standing on one of the crystals. <laughs> Whoa, like, I didn't even have to roll. I'm just like, I did it? Cool. You're a cat. 17 feet. <laughs> nice. Wait, what color is this crystal? Uh, This one is blue. Cyan blue. Sweet. I did it! Yeah! <laughs> now I... I've successfully killed 30 seconds. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Moshi just, Moshi just sits down on top of the crystal, like. <laughs> Roll perception, Moshi. Oh, seriously? Cool. <coughs> Come on. Okay. N- uh, 19. All right. So you are. You know, the crystal's right next to the stream, and you're kind of looking down at the stream. You know, it's almost like a little babbling brook, and, you know. And Moshi said, oh, this is a lot like a Hallmark card, you know, it's very picturesque, it's, I'm just picturing Moshi commentary here, um, but, you know, while you're admiring the view from above, uh, you do notice a cloaked figure starting to approach you guys, and the wind picks up and kind of blows petals in her direction as she gently starts to approach you guys. There's someone coming! Hmm? Over there! I'm actually glad I climbed up here! There's someone here! Coming! Wearing a cloak with a hood, so I don't know who they are. But hey, there's a person! I'll have a look. <laughs> you also see... Could have gotten a drop on them. <laughs> about, you know, 50, 60 feet away, you do see the cloaked figure that she was talking about. Approaching you guys. Nice. I'll approach them as well. Mm. Hmm. I'm gonna need you to make a standard roll. A base roll. And a history check. Did they notice me when I shouted? Yes. Sweet. Right. I'll roll with that. Uh, the the standard roll was a fifteen, and my what was the other one? Sorry, history. History. <laughs> Before you pass, okay, okay. you must solve a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> you must answer these questions three. <laughs> <laughs> what what has four legs in the morning? Do 
legs in the afternoon and three legs in the evening. <laughs> well, that's my name, isn't it? <laughs> what would you get for history? Ah, uh, 15 or so. Oh, okay. That's why my brain blacked out. I was sounding like the same thing. Um, all right, so the shrine is surrounded by that, you know, babbling brook. It's, you know, a couple feet across. Um, and you go to cross it to confront the cloaked figure that is approaching you guys. And you cannot. There is a magical force barrier Wait, am preventing I on that side you from crossing. Yeah, you are also on this side of the brook. You are on Zunori's side, the shrine side of the brook. So there's the shrine, the brook, and we're on that side, and then the figure is, like, approaching. Correct. Okay. Yep. And you cannot pass it, but the figure does look up, and you start to see more of the features. You see, you know, very curly red hair, and she looks up at Moshi endearingly. And... Kind of you weird. must, you must answer the riddle. And she's like, "Is it a man?" You know what? Fine. <laughs> Everyone's a red Oedipus, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but she comes up to you, Zunori, and <laughs> you know, just kind of giggles up at Moshi, and she's like, "You have sought our counsel." Uh, kind of. I'm looking for my wife and children. And she's... And I was told that she was with the Seers. How do you believe she was with the Seers? I'm just going by what I was told. The centaur guy told us. And oh. And I, I was also told by another person that wife might also be a seer. What's her name? I saw her. You can rest. She is here. Ah, oh, sweet! Hmm. Man, for once something panned out. Our children? Roll insight. Oh, oh, oh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Oh, women and children, too! <laughs> Sorry. That's a, uh, 24. Oof! Mm. Double one. <laughs> so... You... <laughs> she is... She is going to speak, but she... But you get a sense of honesty, of pure, you know, just pure feelings that she's being genuine with you. And she, um, but yeah, you do get a, a hint of grief. And she says, only two have made it. I do not know. No! You liar! You get the frick out of here right now. Back to whatever shit force you came from. You lie and no, we don't need to hear this shit. We need to see the Moshi. family. Why did you Moshi, Moshi, Moshi. Which of my children have not made it and how haven't they made it? And why is the wife not telling us this? Because some rando person just coming to tell us this shit. Well, thank you. She does have he does have a point. Your wife is currently undergoing training because she is a seer and she did well to keep her powers at bay given the stress of the situation and the circumstances. Uh, you can say she is in need of mental and spiritual healing. And so we are currently seeing to her condition so that she can become a functioning person again. What the frick does that mean? It means she can't 
currently be conscious without being overwhelmed. What? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You guys are keeping it in some sort of induced coma. You better wake her up right now, because her husband's here. Who else can help her? Jeez. <clears throat> Come on! She says, and your two children are with us as well. This is like some hostage situation. Come on now, let him come see his family. I don't have to come. Just let him go. Gosh. What is all this dancing around? No, she like... roll persuasion. Oh. Tsunori, what were you going to say? <laughs> um, and the third, the third child. We That's a dirty 20. Dirty 20? She says, unfortunately, I do not know. And that is outside of my capabilities to see Wait, what is happening. Wait, don't know what? Sorry. She says, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> she says, unfortunately, I do not know. And she says, that is outside my capabilities. And she's like, however. And she does gesture behind her. And your two kids come riding out of the grove to you. Which ones? The two little ones. The two brothers. Mm -hmm. and... Wait. This isn't like some prison visit where like we have to... They can't cross the river or something. No, no. Can they they, the they absolutely cross the river. <laughs> and they have tears in All their right. eyes. And you know, they're you know, screaming, Daddy. And... I'll, um, I'll crouch down and like reach out my arms and take one in each arm and lift them up and spin them around and cry like a little baby. Yeah. yeah. What, happened? That... what happened, little ones? And there was like, well, mommy started getting really sick and then and then the big man came and he started he started doing the fire thing and you know your little one accidentally almost mm. caught the barn on fire <laughs> so he started doing the barn thing and you know they're taking turns and, and then they're like and so mommy took us mommy took us to the forest and we slept we, we spent he's like we spent the whole night daddy and there was so many birds around us and, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like and then another lady came and and that lady she was very nice and she brought us here and they're taking care of mommy oh, mochi has jumped down by the way just want you guys to know um, I'll say to them, well, it's very good you're here. Uh, it's the two boys, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, no, it's um, the boy and the girl. Right, right. It's your eldest, your eldest son is not there. Figured so, yeah, yeah. Where, where's your brother? They're like, we don't know. We lost him when we came to the forest. Was he with you before the forest? Or did he get lost in the forest? No, he was with us before. And he was trying mm. to take care of Mommy. And when the big man came, Mommy tried to look for him, but she couldn't find him. And we had to go. Okay, okay. Daddy's gonna go find the big man. And teach him what it's all about to do the barn thing, sweetheart. And I'll give her She's a like, scruff on my head. <laughs> She's Moshi. Like, Are you gonna ground him? <laughs> Moshi yeah. knows who we're talking about and um he he's he gets angry and uh, his fists start lighting up on fire cause at his size because he's like he knows who this guy is and he's like so angry. <laughs> <laughs> And the little kid's like, yeah, that fire thing, Daddy. Mm -hmm. That's oh. right. And the little girl kind of looks over at you and she's like, are you okay? I like your tail. Aw. 
Okay. This fire goes out. <laughs> yes, we're going to teach the big man. We're going to ground him, aren't we, Moshi? Oh, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to definitely do that. Six feet into the ground. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to give the kids both a kiss on the forehead, and I'm going to give them a bit of a scruff on the head. You run back with a nice lady now. Daddy's got gonna, to tend to business. I'm gonna walk up to the to the little girl. She's she's the one that talked to me, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, you can pet me if you want. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> he like leans his head out. Hold on, she's got her whole animal handling. Oh shit! <laughs> Fourteen. Just like. Smeeze your face. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely, definitely clumsy at first, but she gives you a nice scritch behind both the ears at the same time. (laughs) And and the little boy's like, don't worry, Daddy, we'll take care of Mommy. And they run off, and Lanessa sees them through, but, you know, she stays with you, you guys. As they're like running off, I'll gesture to the uh, other woman, or sorry, the red-headed woman, and I'll say, I'll get as cl- close as I possibly can. Um, how close can I get to this woman? Is you it just on the within, other side of the... You can get within two feet, which is the distance of the brook. Okay, that's that's more than I thought. Um, I'll approach her and get as close as, as I can and I'll say please look after my wife and my children I'm going to do things that I don't want to see my children or my wife to see actually while I have you in my consort there's something I've been curious about for a long time Considering I know my wife quite well, and I know that she's been hiding something, but I knew that it wasn't so much bad as it was that she was just trying to keep the peace, as it were. And I look over at my children and I say, Are they gifted also? She says, your daughter and I can assure you there is no place safer for them than here she's like the only person who could possibly even potentially attempt to keep them as safe as us is the Prime Minister himself mm-hmm. and on that oh, note the, the guy we met mm-hmm. and she's like Oh, the PM! I know that guy. (laughs) (laughs) And she's like, and on that note, I do sense calm from that part of the area. We have sent out some scouts. We will know in the morning what his status is with the general. Please let me know as soon as possible. If they cannot find him, I'll set out in the morning. She's like, an informant will find you. I'll bow deeply and uh, gesture to Moshi. Let's go find something fun to do for the time being. Oh god, okay. the other, the other three. Oh no. <laughs> and uh, she, so the woman, um, before you part ways with her, she does step across the brook and she kind of hands you a small, you know, very uh. Yeah, just a, almost the size of a D20. Uh, mm. Brushed quartz stone, almost like a little pebble. And she does mm. hand that to you. And she says, while you are in the forest, if you need me, you can call me with this. My name is Lanessa. And she Lanessa. walks away. Whoa, wait, wait. Yes? I know this name, don't I? Can you help Natters or... Oh she's yeah, like, the boy, he's seen some shit. <laughs> and he's <Yeah>. like... <laughs> <laughs> um, she's like, 
we can absolutely take care of him. Do you mind if I take him with me? I have much more skilled heal- healers back there. Oh, please do. And He's traveled long and far. He, uh, for lack of a better term that I can't think of right now, he needs a spa bath. <laughs> she she giggles and um, she actually bends down and picks Natters up and Natters coos and is just absolutely enamored by her. Um, we will take good care of him. He will rejoin you in the morning. Yeah. And I'll look at the kids and I'll be like, Bye! Mom, 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 bye, bye. <laughs> Daddy's gonna do business now. <laughs> they reciprocate that. Uh, as you see them seemingly dis- disappear behind a wall of flower petals. I'll uh, wait until we get out of the sanctified area. And I'll uh, turn to motion. As we're walking along, I'll turn to motion. Wait, can we leave now? Can we pass the... I don't know. I don't really know, like, where we're at. But we can pass the creek now, or... Do you... Was that... Did you want to try? Like, is that the way to leave? (laughs) No, no. No, it's not. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. No, turn around. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. As we're leaving, well, I want to wait until we're left the the sanctified. Before we leave, can Mm -hmm. I find the biggest, prettiest, most awesome flower? Because I want to bring it back to Aya. Roll investigation. Okay. (laughs) Shit. Oh no, come back. Oh, that better be good. Son of a bitch. You can re roll it. You can re roll it and fall off the table. That's really don't fine. want to use my nat one on that. <laughs> if it's not on the table, it doesn't count. Okay. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> okay. Was this, uh, I'm sorry, investigation? Mm hmm. Uh, 25. <laughs> hmm. So you find. What essentially looks like a very elaborate passiflora or passion flower. Excuse me, I must Google this. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wasn't that the inn in The Witcher? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> wow, that's a you're looking thing. Okay. Is that the prettiest flower in here? Really? Okay. No, no, there's several, but that one catches your immediate attention. There is another one okay. that essentially looks like a giant fuchsia. Is that a flower? It is. It is a flower. Fuchsia flower. And the large petals are pink, while the inner petals are a beautiful, sharp white. Let's do that one. It's prettier. The other one just freaking weird. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna eat me or something. <laughs> yeah. well, well, the, I, the... I gotta stop looking at it. <laughs> Fuchsia normally are, you know, about an inch or two, uh, but this one is about the size of your paw. Sweet. Okay. Okay. And I do need to bring this up as it is Star Wars Day. Uh, we almost saw Revenge of the Fifth live in session as <laughs> Zunori got edged to the dark side. <laughs> I was going to say, we are. Uh, we, we <laughs> it's actually <laughs> the fifth year, too. I was going to say, it's, it's tomorrow. <laughs> there he is, so... <laughs> oh, Star Wars RPG playing in my head. <laughs> we definitely skirted the dark side today. Oh, yeah. Oh, Moshi yeah. do. I think uh, Moshi channeled the dark side, actually. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it was fun. All <laughs> right. Was so, um, you guys make your way back. It is late evening. Um, back at the refugee camp, you hear a rather lively 
occurrence in the main market square. Mm-hmm. Moshi, I need you to roll perception. Oh, I hope I ro- I hope I roll low. <laughs> I rolled high. Nori, I also need you to roll a separate perception. I got 17. Perception. That's a 21. So, you do notice Moshi stop dead on, dead on a dime hmm. in front of a stall and look to his right where there is the familiar scent and sight of sweet buns and the familiar face of Lotu tending to another customer (laughs) and as you're seeing Moshi notice this you're also noticing there's a familiar voice in the air it is not a foul voice it is a familiar voice Singing very lively tunes, you hear Ivania singing, as well as a couple other people you don't recognize, and you're noticing that that is in the center of the commotion and the hubbub, as it appears a little mini festival has broken out in the marketplace. It's lively down here, isn't it? Wow, it's like none of them just knew the shit we just went through. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, nudge Moshi and go, go get us a sweet bun, for goodness sake. <laughs> I'll fling him, fling him a gold. They, they cost more than that, you know. What? Don't try. I don't make the prices around here. These are refugees. Gosh, they need the money. Go. <laughs> so I'm gonna go look for the. I'm gonna go follow the sound. All right. So, okay, Moshi, so do I leave or what? What are we doing? Oh, uh, Sonori, you leave, Moshi. We're gonna we're gonna walk up to Lotu. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Who's Lotu again? Like, uh, Johnny's daughter. Ah, yes. Yeah. So uh, you you approach Lotu and she recognizes you and she's like, hey. Oh my God, Moshi! What's up? <laughs> And she's like, oh, you, you, she's like, I, bring it there in. There are so many, <laughs> she's like, there are so many people we're so worried about. And, oh, and she's actually just like grabs like a whole basket full of sweet buns. And she's like, oh my God, just, she's like, here, here. I know you must be starving. What? Oh my gosh. So you guys are all <laughs> 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 That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm dying now. Uh. She's like, she's like, oh my god! How about the rest? Of, how how many have like what? <laughs> 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 and she's like, oh my god. And she's like, well, but, and she's like, well, for the rest of them, and she refills your basket, and she's like, you tell everyone I said hi. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, go ahead and go back. So, Sunori, you're everyone re- gets to see uh, Ivanya living out her uh, rock star dreams here. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, so... I made a bomb ass ukulele. And I get to be a light show. It's fucking <laughs> awesome. Okay. We're having and... a concert. We're lifting, lifting morale for everybody. That is so... great. <laughs> Sonori, you are rejoined by Moshi, who has once again a half basket full of sweet buns, but a giant basket half full of sweet buns nonetheless, and sweet bun sticking out of his mouth, and... Yes. I'm gonna grab one myself. (laughs) 
And you are noticing Ivania is surrounded by a couple of satyrs and some okies and some other, uh, you know, very uh, uh, humanoid animals. And Aya is not the only light in town, as Aya is lighting up the place with several Tiris. And it is a very lively jive as people are dancing and singing and enjoying themselves. Ivania is definitely living her best life up on stage. Sword, this is when you also get back to the market. <laughs> he looks so embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know these people. <laughs> I do not know these people. <laughs> is, I was about to say, is somebody is somebody sitting at uh at John D's, uh spot? Um, John D is standing around the dance floor with everyone, so I... she's not necessarily sitting. No one is necessarily sitting. Okay, I meant is anybody like just kind of standing by uh John D's tent or like market spot low to okay not like moshi or zinori no they are walking towards the center oh god <laughs> Wait, i don't care <laughs> between a rock and I'll, a hard I'll, place I'll, stay, I'll definitely stay on the fringe i'm, like, I'm not like gonna get bumped by somebody and choke on my sweet bum wait where am i going <laughs> where are you guys going? i'm not going i just what I'm okay, so you guys are not walking. He's so. coming to us. So, <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, and I'm evidently he's Zanori. not. He's, 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 he's so you do. Okay, so Zunori and well, I've Moshi returned to Zunori because yeah. I brought and back Zunori the walked to yeah. like kind of the edge of the crowd to get a better okay, look so at what's going that. on, but We're not going there. through mm. the crowd. Yeah, the three of us. Yeah. Okay, all three yeah. of us are just gonna be doing that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna float up and I'm gonna pat their shoulders <laughs> hey man you missed some good stuff i know you can't eat these but like i'm gonna try it again i'm gonna i'm gonna take one out of the the bag and i'm gonna try to extract the aether coming off of it again i'm trying Ew. i'm trying again hey, <laughs> Four. Oh, wait. wait, 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 twenty, twenty-three or twenty-two. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you both are, you know, getting pretty adept at magic use and and being able to see Aether when it is activated and stuff and. You see the sweet bun kind of glow and glitter, and then eventually melts away as Sorn consumes a sweet bun. And you see the look on his face that is not able to move, but you have never seen Sorn so elated and in such inner peace. I know right. <laughs> this is just what like I'm what you see. Like, it was kind of like it was like almost out of anger. Like I just snatched it out of the out of your hand and, <laughs> and it just it like I'll loses turn. all of its color and it you know falls apart. <laughs> I'll turn to him in shock what? and be like, <laughs> oh my. How "I was it." <laughs> Gods, that's amazing. I got my <laughs> Now you know why we won't shut up about him! <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking up at the sky. Why did you make roll me perception. without a mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Funny. I can't exist. <laughs> why? <laughs> and then Zanar's like, like oh, oh, almost focused on his sweet bun. He's like, so, Aya, did, you, did you see what anything? happened. You see them in the distance, and you see what happened with Sorn. <laughs> did oh. I taste it? I, I mean, I'm assuming I tasted it. In your Wait, own way. It? Ready? Yes. Yeah, like okay. In... okay, so I noticed them, and what just happened? Just yeah. makes me feel good. Yeah. Okay. 
I <laughs> am going to scream as loud as I can and be like, hi guys, look what we did! <laughs> and just put them on the spot because I can see that they're trying to avoid us. Uh, and I'll um, still continue to find something else. Roll performance. <laughs> Wait, you're you're calling us out because why? Sorry. Because she's being okay, a jerk. We'll continue. <laughs> she wants I to find embarrass us. To distract. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm actually I... in a really good mood, so... <laughs> 21. Um, <laughs> can I make a reaction? <laughs> How would you like to react? I am casting Duskwalk. I'm melting into the ground and popping up <laughs> behind a tent. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> just the, uh, the closest tent behind us. I'm just so... appearing behind it. Oh. Wow. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you to roll stealth. I'm going to need you to roll stealth. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I just completely missed my tower again. <laughs> Why are you eating dice, dude? That is a natural 20. On <laughs> <laughs> so, seemingly, when you guys blinked, Soren disappeared. Just vanished. And as he vanished, a couple of other Antiris float over to you guys and start circling and lighting you guys from above. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you guys as in you guys as in uh just moshi and zanori it's moshi and zanori okay hey moshi is actually in a good mood because things actually went well today so um... listen i made the first ukulele and we accidentally did the first busking slash concert Okay. <laughs> you are part of history now. <laughs> Moshi gets really excited with all the lights and all the colors and goes, Woo! I have something for you too! And <laughs> runs <laughs> over to Aya. And like whips out this flower. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna give <laughs> Moshi a giant hug and a forehead kiss. <laughs> Just watching all this from behind the tent. <laughs> and I'm just gonna Moshi. Do like a little dance and be like, Take <laughs> and while this is happening, Moshi, you feel these big, strong arms embrace you and spin you around as you hear John D squealing. Oh, Johnny! <laughs> Hi! Ah. And she's and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> hi, hi. And she's like, she's like, oh my god, you have no idea how happy we are to see you. Oh, and she oh, like actually like starts you. crying. And she sees you, Zunor, and she goes running over to you and does pretty much the same thing. <laughs> and she's like, oh my, she's like, what even happened, you guys? What are you even doing? She's like, oh my god, what, what, what. <laughs> And she's oh. like, oh, thank you. And Pup Pup takes a sweet bun out of the bag. <laughs> well, what a, um... It's been a week. She's like, a week? it's been a I week. It's been... <laughs> it has. Um, um, am I still playing? Am I still going off, like, singing? You, <laughs> you are, you are now, on... Man. Cloud nine, but you have there's enough people playing you can slip out politely without disrupting anything. Oh sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna go join John D and, and the I'm gonna and the need crew. you to make a general roll real quick. Oh dang. <laughs> oh bad news guys, crit one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, Vanya goes to dismount the now makeshift sh stage <laughs> and essentially falls over the side of the stage, but Crush the ukulele. gets caught by some of the dancers. And as the dancers Marsh catch her, and they're noticing that their no. star of the show has dismounted. They're like, which way you want to go? And Vanya no, crowd serves <laughs> with thunderous applause. Oh I'm so glad I'm not there. <laughs> this is a really oh. good, good one. <laughs> oh. This is a very generous, great one. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it though? Is it not in Sword's perspective? Sword's <laughs> not even there. It's a real quiz. Having a pity party. Watching, uh, I'm watching Sword. the whole thing. <laughs> and make a conga line over to Sword and force him to be in a conga line. <laughs> you cannot. He is out of view from uh, everyone. I disappeared. No one knows where I am. <laughs> no. He poofed in. He legitimately 110% poofed in. <laughs> You were uh, really introduced to the darkness. I was horrible. <laughs> I was horrible. I am the darkness. <laughs> With that, we're going to take a 10 minute wellness break. We will be right back. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, we are back. Sorry about that. We are still waiting on one more, but that is okay. Uh, because snacks are important. When this break is important. All the good things. Brian, put put your mug away. <laughs> <laughs> to the people. <laughs> that already looked like... <laughs> This is the shit I've been dealing with all break. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this a Bane thing? This is Bane thing, right? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> yes, traffic yes. yes. We're not trying to get sued, are we? <laughs> Can we get sued? Okay. The... We're not. References, not no. <laughs> Clips, yes. Um. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so bringing it back, and you. Vanya has just been royally escorted uh, to the group. <laughs> John B is absolutely ecstatic and just like has no words at this point in time. Soren has poofed it. Uh, Moshi is stuffing his face with sweet buns. We're going to say up in the corner. <laughs> And Aya, you, I think, are rejoining the group. Or are you going to stay up with the light show? I'm already over here. Oh, okay. Yes. Actually, while I have the thought in my head, I'm going to do a scan of the crowd and see if there's injured people. Roll medicine. Uh, uh, I keep changing this. Medicine. That is a 14. Not terrible. Not terrible. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Everyone's. You see everyone's spirits is definitely lifted. 
You do see some people with small bandages, uh, but for the most part, most everyone seems medically tended to. Okay, okay. That's um, good. Still, hmm. I'm going to walk up to somebody who's bandaged, and I'm just going to like gesture to them, you know, hello, you know, and I'll say, uh, can you tell me where you got bandaged up? <clears throat> All right, so you approach, um, you know, kind of, kind, of man, kind of your age, definitely a farmer, um, mm -hmm. and he's and he's gonna be like, oh yeah, oh, you know, he's gonna give you the directions to a medical tent. Awesome. Um, as I'm leaving, I'll look, check back at everybody else, see that they're all having fun, and I'll uh, give it, like, you know. I'm glad that everybody's having fun, basically. And I'll go look for the metal, medical tent. Uh, before Zenori leaves the youth, uh, Bayan's gonna... Am I back yet, actually? Am I back yeah. from... Yeah, Okay, I've been delivered <laughs> safely back to the party by the crowd. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm gonna give everybody a hug. That includes you, because I was having so much fun. <laughs> okay. We'll say that that happens after uh, you, yeah. you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and johnny definitely welcomes the hug and she said you were amazing i was a little worried at first but you really <laughs> turned it around and let me tell you people have been needing this you were such a send and um actually sonori let's go out and follow you oh okay follow for moshi All right. All right. So as I'm like getting past the majority of people, I would assume that there's not many people around because they're all drawn to this big light and sound show that's happening um, as I'm walking towards it. It's a mix of that and people are turning in for the night as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I figured as much. Um, as I'm walking along, I'm pretty much... Uh, go into like a meditative walk you know you slip into your own mind stream and i'll um i'll uh pray to a nurse and say nurse please watch out for my eldest son he's he's needed in the family and i couldn't bear to leave it to one of my children when i wasn't there i couldn't bear to lose one of my children either way but roll religion my heart Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but yeah. No, you're right. My bad, it's my bad. Uh, religion, religion, religion. 20, dirty 20. You get a response. Ooh. Cool. I will whisper that to you. Nice. And you also get the whisper of a name. I ha actually broke down. I don't know where this sorry, name is. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> no I'm sorry. Um, did you want to follow Zunori to a medical tent? Would you what, stick what around with everybody? Uh, I, everybody's still having fun. I've just darted off on my own. I'm going to a medical tent to like. Oh, it's right be the good Samaritan. I basically like gave you guys a you know a hug and a pat and fucking walked out of there. Well, where you? Why? Uh, I guess as an or if, if you if you were to pull him up on him, you'd probably just say I just needed five minutes to myself. Yeah, but like why why would he go to the medical town? I'm confused. Uh, he's a cleric. He's oh, you're gonna go heal people? Me. That's why you're yeah, going? Yeah, that yeah, basically. But I needed to pray to my god. Oh. Yeah. It's kind okay. of um, stone situation. Do I wanna come with DM, should I go with? I mean you could let the dice decide. 
That's one true. To, one to ten, you stay with the group. Eleven to twenty, you go with. I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, Moshi's so what, attendance we like... does not disrupt your prayer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so are we in much. the medical tent now? I'm sorry. No, you, um, when you guys. Be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys are walking up on the medical tent, um, which gonna go heal some people. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so Nori, I need you to roll history. Oh God. <laughs> Gonna remember. Not bad. It's not it's bad. So hot in my room. Oh I'm going pretty good today. Shush! I shouldn't have said that. Um. Uh. History, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, I don't have that one on. Hold on. I have a paper. That is one. Mary. I am missing. I wrote in my notes Zunori leaves to spend some time by himself so naturally Moshi goes with him <laughs> that's fun I mean naturally hey, what are you doing <laughs> hey, man, you want to make an, an emote of you like standing over Zunori's head going what are you doing what are you doing, <laughs> what, are you doing? what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that Fucking tent scene. I cannot get over that. Yeah. To date, I still cannot get over that. I'm sorry. I can't. Yeah. Like, that's that's not fucking. Like, I'm clipping that. I'm posting that everywhere because. <sighs> um. All right. So, you um, come to a fairly large tent, which actually does not have a line out of it. You, know, you recall from your days in the war and, you know, taking in refugees and stuff like that, that typically there should be a line. So everything mm. seems to be either calming down or well taken care of. Um, walking into the tent, um, you see quite a few different people around. Um, you see there are some people in beds, some of them with burns, um, some of them, you know, seem to have... Uh, you know, just very varying degrees, but not severe war battle wounds. Um, mm -hmm. Or at least not that you can tell. Uh, but you do see a familiar face at first as you recognize Ninenti, who is a healer for the realms. Is a major healer mm -hmm. for the realms in times of war. Wait, we see who? Uh, I will put that in the range. Do I know who this is? Um, no, you do not. Yeah. Okay. The, this is a healer for uh, the soldiers when they were at war. The, she would typically come along in the camps. Ah, so Zunori recognizes her. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, Netty. And I'll give a deep bow. I look at I look at Sunori and I, I also bow. <laughs> the lady looks back at you perplexed and she's like, Oh no, that's my twin. <laughs> she's like I she's like, I am Hefioni. I've been here training and when all this started I had to come and help out because my sister has taught me a thing or two. Oh, oh, Ma, excuse me, uh, where is your sister? She's like, she got a call to go meet with the Prime Minister, um, I guess I he yeah, met up I know with, that guy. um, <laughs> and, uh, so she was working at 
Um, oh, some mysterious camp. If you recall, you didn't really pay attention to the nah. healer, did you? <laughs> no. <Nah. Nah. laughs> What's going on? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's right. Because I was in a tizzy, wasn't I? She, she doesn't know that, but yes, you were. DM says yeah. yes, you were. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll say, uh, well, uh, when you see, and I, like, I realize in my head, I'm like, oh, no. And I say, well, when you see your sister next, please... With my apologies and regards, I was indisposed the last time we saw each other. She's like, you know, that seems to happen a lot with healers. I don't know what it is. And she currently sets the guy's uh, shoulder that she's working on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she kind of gives him a little quick pat and sends him on his way. She's like, but what can I do for you guys? What what are you what are you even doing? And she's like, are soldiers even allowed in the forest? Uh, we are now. We're on a different kind of mission. Let's just say mission my services are more not military. She's like, ah. Uh. Don't be hasty. No. Uh, no. She's like, I got you. Okay. <laughs> I I just came down to this tent to see if you needed a hand. That this seems pretty. This seems pretty well sorted. She's Is like, there anybody yeah. here that has more serious wounds than others? I have a couple of spells. She's like, there were a couple of life-threatening ones, but they got sent to the ladies. Uh, for critical mm. care. All of our critical mm. care patients have gone oh, to the so ladies. they get to go to the ladies? Mm. <laughs> and she's like, they may not remember when they wake up, but yes, they will. And, um, uh, but, so uh, between the us and the forest guardians, you know, people coming through the forest for sanctuary are pretty taken care of. Mm hmm Okay, okay. Alright, this was a waste of time. Hmm. Not necessarily. Better to have checked and not needed a hand than to never have checked and them needing a hand, so I guess we'll make our way out. Yeah, and but if we I... didn't check, no one needs a hand, so, you know. <laughs> well. I mean, it was a medical time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, she's like, well, you're consideration is deeply appreciated and makes me wish that there were more soldiers like you because there's um, been a few occasions where we could have probably used a few extra hands well i am a cleric There'd well i could give you a hand <laughs> i just kind of roll my eyes no she everybody <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all day. Thank you. And that does work up a couple of giggles with her and, you know, nearby <laughs> patients. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll say, well, we'll take our leave and please, if you do need any help, I shouldn't be much more than a shout away. She's like, I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you. And as I walk out, I'll, like, look for somebody random, like, with more burns than others. And I'll just, like, grab them by the toe and give them a cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was an uh, older gentleman, and you see his cane next to him, and he just, as you walk out. <laughs> give him a shock. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You're healed. Magic. <laughs> Who did that? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you guys?
guys? Do you guys are you guys headed back to the group? Or? Man. Yeah, yeah, pretty much we'll walk out. Mo I'll, Moshi's I'll kind say... of disappointed that he can't like heal anybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, he's like strolling in the tent, like just randomly touching people and like healing them. Moshi's like, hey. Mm. <laughs> like, nice. See ya. Moshi's salt has returned. <laughs> I can't do anything in here. I like. I'll give Moshi a bit of a rough on the head and I'll say, this is what it's all about. This is what keeps me human. There was a time when I wasn't particularly like this. Oh, you mean you live for coming to healing facilities and getting turned away? Better to be turned away than... Don't do, don't do that again. <laughs> you just did that. You know, let's, let's just, let's not do that again. Mm. You did all right too. It's don't they say that laughter is the best of healing? Oh, I can go back in there. <laughs> I can tell all sorts of jokes. I got a good one. <laughs> Wait till the morning. They need their sleep. Ah, fine. Wait until you're a bit. Puts more away joke book. Lively. <laughs> <laughs> can that be a thing in this universe, please? <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Moshi already made s'mores. <laughs> oh, that's right, I did. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right, so um, do you guys head back to the group and you find them at John D's tents? Um, Aya and Ivanya are definitely catching up with John D. Uh, Sorn, are you still embarrassed to be seen with your people? Uh, I'm still hidden, but I've gotten bored, so I'm looking around to see if there's anything interesting back here. <laughs> one of us, one of us, one of us, one of us. I'm just saying that I never said that I was still there. All right, cool. Uh, oh, well, me. This is true. This is true. We to make assumptions. This is very true. Are Who you says still that there? me and Ivanya didn't get into shenanigans? This is very true. I said it. You didn't get into shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're not my dad, for starters. Also, you're too, uh, you're too Second busy. Second of all, being you're too embarrassed best. to see my supervision, so really I can go do whatever I want. Like, literally, all the supervision has left me unsupervised all day, and look what happened. Just saying. I want to go find a place to break and enter into. Just the fun of it. Let's break and enter into the ladies. Just theory. rogue things. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go find the ladies. Yeah, that'll I'm be fun. I'm sure there's some place that people aren't, and that's where I want to be. This is a refugee camp. <laughs> I didn't say I was stealing anything. I hey, said wait, it was breaking anything where it wasn't supposed to be. Hey, wait, hey, you, 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 you know the ladies, right? Let's go find them. Oh, yeah, let's, actually, let's start this is true. Them. <laughs> Starting to know how Zanori feels. <laughs> <laughs> This is what they have to live with, but this is also what we live for. <laughs> I've been the worst influence and I love it. <laughs> Do I find anything interesting back here? <laughs> <laughs> Roll investigation. Investigation. That is a <laughs> that's a ten. <laughs> oh man, this speck of dust, super interesting. <laughs> Only not as interesting, uh, probably more interesting than everything that's going on. Over there. I don't even need to DM you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, you do notice Aya acting suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be. You, don't you know her voice. When am I not acting suspicious? So I see that. Okay. Uh, I. I want to roll. Can I roll like insight and see if I can, if I know what's gonna happen? <laughs> like... <laughs> roll insight. <laughs> awesome. That's a eighteen, maybe. And that's not fair. <laughs> and now realize seeing it that is a about 19. so seeing what is going on and understanding what is going on and intervening are two different things. I I'm gonna roll my eyes in, in the proverbial sense because I don't know if I really can <laughs> I'm going to uh, touch the ground 
and uh, cast Flock of Familiars. And <laughs> oh, wow. we leveled up. So my spell slots are now level, level three. So now there's four of them. Four of who? Four of my little buddies. What? And buddies. They are all gonna like across the ground and, and go to Aya and just follow Aya around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, better idea. One of each of them is going to one of each of my companions. One's gonna follow <laughs> Aya, one's going with Ivanya, one with Moshi, and one with Zenor. Are they wow. corporeal? Like, can I, like, touch yeah, them? Yeah, they're little shadow dudes. I guess you could, like, it, so they're, like, flattened against the ground, just kind of, like, going across the ground, but I'm sure... Can they, they, like, jump or, like, get yeah. on things? Yeah. Essentially, I just have you, a darker shadow going dudes. on. Okay, exactly. do I notice this little shadow dude? I'll roll for roll stealth perception. if you want to roll for perception. Okay. <laughs> a roll roll off. off. <laughs> stealth is a 18. <laughs> per perception? Yeah. I got an 18 too. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. What, roll, who, go, who, go ahead and roll, roll again. Roll, roll again. Number two. But <gasps> with, without add-ons. No skills. No, add no base. addition. Okay. Base roll off. Oh, but, okay. That's okay. another 18. Oh. Not a 10. Oh. <laughs> so they're going to, I'm going to have them all hide in everyone's shadows and just follow them around. I can, I'm just going to sit on the ground. I'm going to like go rock mode in behind the tent and I can see through their eyes. So I'm going to be like kind of rotating through all of them. You like... have the old... <laughs> Oh, I was thinking like old school video game land party screens. Yeah, I've got like four screens. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> like a security guard. Like, and I'm, I'm just gonna, be, I'm gonna be Overwatch. <laughs> All right. Hey, what are you doing? I'm off to do sketchy shit with Lavanya. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'm gonna follow and I'm doing whatever he is doing. Okay, I'm so I do stand corrected. Moshi and Sor uh, Zunori, you return to the tent. Or okay. you return to Johnny's tent, as you cannot seem oh. to find the others. Um, and, and I'll turn to Moshi and be like, do you get that feeling? <laughs> like we're like being something watched. bad's about to go down, because I don't <laughs> see them anywhere. But, uh, oh. Pause real quick. I forgot I wanted to do one thing while you guys were gone. <laughs> what? Can I oh, no, ask? Can I ask? Yeah. So, so like, what we're doing? What we're doing is uh, they're back at the happening? tent, but this isn't live time. We're gonna go back to when you guys left the tent and what you guys are currently doing. Ah, when who left the tent? What's going on? So we're going to do shady shit. So we are not here. No. Yeah. Right now. Right now. No. We're gonna. As way of turning we're up. gonna do the time play That's while the you guys were gone from the party. This, you guys yeah. were at the medical tent. We're gonna do what happened while you guys were at the medical. This tent. episode directed by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. would that mean that I sent out my buddies before they left? So like they followed them to the. Oh god. Or... We're, we're, we're getting some like weird timeline shit. Yeah, we're getting Yeah, time no, okay. no, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna put that as um yeah, while they were away at the tent and then your two little buddies was looking for them and, and you're like them. Yeah, came yeah. and found them, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. Hey yeah, Ivania. Alright. So shit. right before we left uh John D, I am going to ask John D for some hot bean juice. I'm gonna fill up some of my flasks, specifically the glass ones, for now. I don't think the wood ones or the plant ones are gonna hold up against something that's hot. <laughs> she obliges uh, with giving you a travel flask, a bigger travel flask, a travel jug. Oh, got a free, free belly bag of hot bean juice. Nice. It's a pint. It's a travel pint. Okay, one pint. Do believe the technical term is Stein. Check you out. Yes. You get Stein of hot bean juice. Hot bean juice. Okay. Yeah, we will never be tired again. 
I'm looking for suspicious people to follow and places I shouldn't be. Yes, now I'm with <laughs> yeah, and up to some shady shit. Do da do da. I get away with it. <laughs> Roll investigation. Nat 20. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> uh, okay. Um... <laughs> Hold on. You... You guys are wondering about the marketplace and about the refugee camp. I keep wanting to say rubble camp today. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's the force. Uh, it is too strong today. <laughs> the force is too strong today. <laughs> <laughs> um... And, um, you know, you see a lot of people are turning in. Shops are starting to shut down. Uh, the, um, you know, the, a lot of people that were partaking in the lively event are, you know, that number of people is slowly starting to dwindle. Um, you are, you know, understanding where you currently, ooh, well, history, actually. Ooh, interesting. With your nap 20. Let me see how much you recognize. Dirty 20. Oh. Wow. As. <laughs> I had too much caffeine. <laughs> Go ahead. You <laughs> can continue. Um, so now that you're in the forest and you're kind of, you know, feeling out the place and, you know, you do, you have been getting flashes and, uh, of reminiscence, you know, of, uh, you know, just recollections here and they're passing recollections, you know, they don't really stick with you all that much. Um, but you do understand at some point that you really are on the outskirts of the forest. And the inner sanctum of the forest, essentially, is definitely off-limits to a lot of things. But um, you also come across a centaur in a little puffball anteri that strike this same feeling of recollection. But the centaur feels like a security guard. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak by with Avanya. <sighs> oh, and the, the entrance to the Inner Sanctum is nowhere near you guys. Also, no. The security guard's just standing over the camp, essentially. Hmm. Can I talk to them and convince them to let me go by? Go by to where? Whatever they're guarding, I don't care what it is. I want to go where I'm not allowed. So they are guarding anything. They are guarding the the camp. They're guarding the refugee camp. They're oh, watching over. Well, that's camp. less fun. Yeah. So if we go past them, we'll just be out of the camp. Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Okay, huh. but with my history check and my recollections, I understand which direction I have to go to the inner sanctum. You do. I'm going in that direction. All right. Um I need Ivania to roll a nature check. Nature Ooh. check. Uh what are we checking for? Uh nothing specific at this time. So I don't have a Just roll a this. just roll a standard nature check. That is 18 plus 5, 30, 23. All right. Um, 
and you follow Aya's lead through the um, through the rest of the camp, and eventually the camp starts to break off. And Vanya, you are actually loving what you are seeing. You know, you are seeing these houses and abodes that are grown into the trees and with trees and foliage and plants of all different sizes you're looking up at these massive and now that it's now that it's dark out it's a lot harder to see the tops of these trees but these trees are wider than a lot of houses you've seen and they have stairs going up and ladders and you know little makeshift elevators and you are just in this absolute wonderland for you being a little forest child, a little ranger. And, uh, um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Just like the Ewoks, um, eh, home. Uh, eh, think more, uh, Lothlorien. What? <laughs> think, think more, think more elves. Think, think more elves, except with a lot oh. more animal creatures. Yeah. Hey, right, right. I, th I think I know what you're talking about now. If you don't know what Lothlorien is, we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Lothlorien is the wood elves in Lord of the Rings. Yes, I remember. I remember the scene. It was like, it was also very, very gorgeous. Yes. Ooh, so. Lordy. He hasn't read the books? I oh, come on. So, yeah, mix that with a lot more druid shenanigans and a lot more homemade and makeshift things as well as um you know a lot of like the stairs and stuff appearing to have been grown and not made not crafted um but you also see numerous varieties of creatures and you have been spellbound by this place you know and seeing for the first time centaurs seeing for the first time harpies uh, and uh satyrs and the like um but you get so you guys are getting more into the native areas and Aya continues past that and you're starting to you know cross these beautiful rivers and seeing just eloquent life in the rivers um a yeah, rural perception oh boy oh good dirty 20 <laughs> wow oh uh, uh, you pass a you pass through um, what appears to be like a doorway of sorts or like maybe like bushes that were like kind of pushed out of the way and mm -hmm. a few anterior giggling along the side as you guys walk by. Um, but they don't stop you. And um, as you guys continue on, um, eventually you enter into a regular sized forest. Um, you know, very reminiscent of when you guys first came in. Uh, but it feels, you know, the, the air feels damper, the, it just starts, you know, almost feels like static electricity with so much magic. Um, and you guys enter into a beautiful flower-filled, firefly-filled grove. And in the middle of this grove is a little babbling brook and a little stone altar. Oh, so we're at that spot. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do my normal thing with the altar, with the, the flowers and growing them and whatnot. Okay. Um, I'm also going to see if I can animate one of those flowers um, and make it speak, since it has so much magical power here. Roller cut. Twenty-three. Roll insight. Thirteen. Okay. Um. You do breathe a little bit of sentience into one of the flowers around the altar. Um. And it does try to speak with you through the aether but you are unable to understand it okay I can make them speak I just can't understand them yet got it cool 
Is there anybody here, or is there, like, another path for me to go down? Uh, immediately before you, around the shrine, you know, is this little babbling brook. Um, the grove seems weirdly uninhabited. But Let's still feels brook. full. It still feels full, but it seems uninhabited. Cross the brook. Cross the brook. I was... Oh, man. Um... I wanted to ask if it was going to take too long to try and establish mycelium connection right here. Because we can feel the magic in the air, right? Yes, you can. Oh, I want to do it, but it's going to be like, it takes one hour to meditate and do it. Which means if I do it, uh, you would be going off on your own. I'll have to sit here and meditate. Well, <laughs> let me know rest. that you're doing it. I'll stick around. Can yeah. I see what color the aether is through my my buddy's eyes? I'll, I'll whisper it to you. Don't worry. Oh, nice! Because <laughs> while you you do that, I'll practice other magic. I'm cool. All right. That. Yeah, I'm oh, going to do my, do my thing. Um, oh, wait. No, never mind. Never mind. Um, okay, so... Uh, mycelium connection. Okay, go ahead and... Um, I know that I know that is ritualistic, but I also need you to roll a religion, um, a nature, and an insight. Whoa! Okay, so let's roll. Uh, first one being, nature. You said nature, religion, and insight, insight. right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first one would be nature. Nature is plus five, sixteen. Uh, religion is. 18 and insight is 14 plus 4 18 all right that's where we're gonna bookmark the session tonight ah! <laughs> I don't even get to finish my sketchy ah. shit Oh, no, okay. you did not. Paused in the middle of the sketchy shit. <laughs> nope, because uh, that was a major event that I need. DM needs time. A little bit I more than a few it. minutes. I'm, I don't want to do that one on the fly on you. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, fair. <laughs> That's what you get going looking for sketchy shit. And then also with Soren eavesdropping. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was perfect because I Sorn gets to tag along without having to tag along with the two people that were singing in the middle of the, <laughs> of the camp. <laughs> I can go without having to be seen with them. <laughs> the introvert dream. Cat, cat loves. So it's no alter knows. ego. <laughs> nope. At this time, no one does know. Nope. <laughs> I don't care if you yeah. come along. Yeah, the UP is so. <laughs> cat. My thoughts exactly, cat. <laughs> I'm tired too. All right. Yeah, the UP is when I like put my head behind you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. What a cute cat. My cat hates life. <laughs> it's everything. My cat just, has anxiety just... issues. Oh, Lou. Why are you sitting behind me? Oh, Did you hear him? Yeah. Oh, get it. Oh, oh the he was, he was loafed up. He was just being a loaf oh. behind me. Aww. One of these days, I'll let my cats in here, and then you guys can. Uh, when he takes up too much them. of the screen, he makes me dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at all those kitties. Look at those eyes. <laughs> just a void. Giddy. Just two eyes in the void. Giddy's everywhere. But, um... Alright, so yeah, so we will bookmark the session. Next session, uh, if I have my chain of technical correct, I am going to be remoting into my home computer, but I am going to be in the chat with you guys via my iPad, and it's going to be, like, super weird. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> Exciting.
That would be very cool. <laughs> uh, we, uh, but um, uh, Friday and Saturday, we're continuing our spider thon in the strings. And yeah, tomorrow I will be. I will be with Amberly. And my soul will be whole once again. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we will goodness. resume next week as Ivania taps in to the mycelium connection and may or may not totally have her mind implode by the immensity of information that she'll receive but i guess we'll find out start rolling your new character <laughs> have, now joseph <laughs> i have i have advantage against mind altering magic i will be i will survive right <laughs> Right, right, guys, right. right? I'll be okay. Right. I also have advantage of wisdom survival checks. You know, you know, you know. Sounds like you're trying, trying to convince DC yourself, 20. friend. Or can I, I call you friend? Scared. Someone who hasn't read Lord of the Rings. Oh no, Moshi's oh gonna have God. to make I friends tried. with a new character. I tried. Wait, I tried. Bye. Bye. <laughs>